We are beginning tonight with a breakthrough in one of the most baffling and sadistic crime sprees in California history. The East Area Rapist, also known as the Golden State Killer, was arrested, according to police, overnight in Sacramento. Investigators say 72-year-old Joseph James D'Angelo is actually a former police officer. Action News reporter Vicki Gonzalez with more in our top story. The thousands of hours of sleepless nights between investigators and the victims and the families and the community. Carol Daly was the lead investigator for Sacramento County Sheriff's. For more than four decades, the name East Area Rapist provoked fear and terror across Sacramento neighborhoods and beyond. Now retired, Daly describes a man without a name until now. It was disbelief and then uh, a flood of emotions came through that over 40 years I didn't realize were still there. Joseph James D'Angelo, the 72 year old arrested in Citrus Heights, also known as the Golden State Killer. D'Angelo is accused of a violent crime spree of at least 12 murders and more than 50 rapes beginning in Sacramento County in 1976 and spreading across the state for at least a decade. We were looking for a needle in a haystack, but we also all knew that the needle was there. District Attorney Anne Marie Schubert speaking in front of the crime lab, connecting D'Angelo's DNA to the 1978 Rancho Cordova slayings of Brian and Katie Maggiore, a 40 year unsolved double murder now turning a corner towards justice. He was very surprised by that. Um, it, it looked as though he might have been searching his mind to execute a particular plan he may have had in mind. Obviously speculation on my part, but he was not given the opportunity. The culmination of agencies across California for more than 40 years working to restore safety to neighborhoods paralyzed by sinister brutality. D'Angelo's arrest, the first step towards closure. One of the victims that I talked to this morning said for the first time, I'm going to sleep all night. D'Angelo is also charged with two additional murders in Ventura County dating back to 1980. Investigators are now working across the state to connect the 72 year old with the several other murders, dozens of rapes, among other crimes they believe he is connected to. His first court appearance is Friday. In Sacramento, Vicki Gonzalez, KSBW Action News 8. Vicki, thank you. Uh, the East Area Rapist got the nickname because of where his crimes began. From 1976 through 1978, a series of rapes and break-ins started in Sacramento County. Crimes would ultimately spread to Yolo, San Joaquin, and Stanislaus counties. And then the crimes in that area abruptly stopped. Years later, though, DNA evidence connected the East Area Rapist to murders in Southern California and in the Bay Area. The closest to our area happened in San Jose.